Well, just hours ago, it was standing room only inside the Equality Center in downtown Tulsa. It's the day many people waited for since the Defense of Marriage Act first became law in the 90s. Today, they cut the cake on what many say is the start of something great. Two News reporter Liz Bryant begins our live team coverage tonight. She's at the Equality Center, where a Tulsa family is hoping that this means a more secure future together. Liz? Well, Russ and Karen, I'm still watching people leave from the Equality Center's parking lot just a few hours ago. A room full of smiles, cheers, and tears. One man stood up telling the crowd he hopes he can soon marry his partner of nine years. But one couple really stood out to me because they're now fighting for their family's future. Like any brand new mother, Crystal Loveland Davis and her baby are getting a lot of attention. Well, she could sleep through anything, I think. See, Crystal delivered Kyler three weeks ago, but inside this packed room, you won't find the father. She's meant to be here, and we're willing to fight any battle that we need to. A battle that's just now beginning. See, a sperm donor helped Crystal and her wife, Julie, fulfill their dreams. They had a civil union in 2011 in this same room. Right now, as it is, I have no rights. If something were to happen to Crystal and our donor or her family were to choose to not let me be a part of this baby's life, then that's a reality that I could face. Fortunately, I do not think that would happen. Uh, I know about 99.999% that would not happen. But that's what we face as a family. But she worries about that small chance. And for that, Julie, who believes anything comes with a great risk, is now waiting for these rights to come to Oklahoma. Some people don't understand the decision. Like, why would you, me, Julie, come into this situation where you do not have any rights to this child? But it's all about love. And like she said, she has a purpose. She's meant to be here. As for Crystal, she says Kyler couldn't be delivered on a more fitting day, June 1st, Gay Pride Day. They are setting uh, the bar for the rest of the nation. And something I want to point out inside here today, there were both gay and straight people and couples so all supporting one another. They believe this is a civil issue, not a religious issue. Live in downtown Tulsa tonight, Liz Bryant, 2 News, works for you.